What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to Champion Aesthetics. You are tuned in to another Mental Champion Monday, okay? And today we're going to talk about the social media algorithm versus our authenticity. So before we get into today's discussion, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Also, click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any videos. Let's go. So we all know how today works and how being an influence on social media and having a bunch of followers and a fan base has become very important to our society and something that has deflated that purpose or something that has caused some conflict with reaching that goal is this new social media algorithm and there are so many influencers and social media marketers and managers and specialists that kind of leave tips and advice on different ways to beat the algorithm and different ways to be successful through the algorithm and it tells you different ways just to make sure that your posts get the views likes comments engagements that you're looking for every single time that you make a post to social media but this algorithm and us following the steps to this algorithm is it causing some type of defect our authenticity is it causing us to not be the people who we really want to be on social media and i say that because we're following certain guidelines and we're following certain trends just to make sure that our videos go viral just to make sure that our posts go viral but are we really doing it because it's something that applies to our life are we really doing it because it's something that we feel is relatable to the things that we are going through and that's what i want to discuss today that if we are following this algorithm and doing the necessary steps to be successful in the social media world let's make sure that we're doing it through our very own authenticity so the first thing that I want to discuss when it comes to algorithms versus authenticity and that is how we follow these certain routines, how we follow these certain steps to gain a certain status, how we have to make sure, okay, well, if I want this post to get the number of likes that I want for it to receive, I have to post at this time, this time, and this time. I may have created the video yesterday, a week ago, or earlier this morning, but because my followers aren't online or because many people are not checking their apps, it's not a good time for me to post right now because it's not gonna get the feedback that I want. And we spend so much time making sure that we follow this algorithm, making sure that we do it to the T and we do everything exactly how these influencers and people that are leaving tips are telling us to do just to reach this certain outcome. But if we really take the video, if we really take the content and when we create it, create it through originality, create it through specifically who you are and put it out there on the internet, people are going to follow authenticity. People are going to appreciate, comment, engage, like, view authenticity versus something that they feel is being forced just to receive a certain type of status, just to receive a certain number of likes, number of views, um, comments and things like that. People are more bound to follow something that they feel is true and relatable versus something that they feel like is being put out for clout and just for some type of recognition and engagement. So. I say this because we become so dedicated to the trends, we become so dedicated to what's going viral and the different videos that are going viral that we go ahead and we duplicate them and we go ahead and we remake them in a way to honestly gain the type of success that we see in the video do. But where does those videos come from? This, the sounds that we're clicking on, these trending sounds, like if you go on Instagram and you're looking for trending sounds, the ones right at the bottom with the arrow sticking up, we always are clicking on those because those are the sounds that we're always hearing. But those sounds had to come from somewhere. Those sounds came from somebody who was brave enough to be like, okay, this is originally what's going on in this video. This is me in my most authentic state. I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there. And it is creating a million wide reaction and just creating so much buzz that people are clicking the sound and remaking the videos in hopes to get that same success. That came from someone's originality. That came from someone's bravery to step out there and be like, this is me, I'm gonna put it out there and see what happens. And I know that we are following these trends and doing certain things because most of us have brands, we have businesses that we're trying to promote, we have products that we're trying to market, we have services that we are trying to sell. And these trending videos and these trending sounds and these trending anything, it's just, it makes it so much more convenient for us to follow along in hopes that that's what we're gonna see. But imagine how much your product, your brand, your service can stand out if somebody picks it up because wow, this is original and I, this is original and it really applies to what I have going on right now. You're gonna get so much more sales, you're gonna get so much more traffic, you're gonna get so much more followers 
from authenticity and I know it takes a while and that's where the fear comes in because a lot of times we want it boom right away as soon as we think of a business idea we think of a product we want it to be instant success and we like okay I'm going to create something I'm going to do it this 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 this, this because I seen somebody do it this way so I'm going to duplicate it in hopes that okay my product is just as good if not even better I should be able to get more likes I should be able to get more views I should be able to get more engagement but, but when that doesn't happen we enter depression or we second guess ourselves or we create this atmosphere of self-doubt because it didn't get the same reach that somebody else's video put it out there with authenticity and what you get back is exactly what you deserve what you get back is exactly what you need because you only want the people to engage to like to view your post when it's something that's relatable to them, when it's something that they can engage from, and when it's something that they can learn from, those are the people that you want following you. People who truly find your content relatable and it can help motivate them in their everyday life. That's what we should be seeking when we are creating these videos. So that's what we should be seeking when we are creating these videos and this content. And so I'll leave you all with two tips. My special two tips that I say when creating content, and this is really for my content creators and people that want to be influencers and brand owners and entrepreneurs. The very first thing is something I've been preaching this whole video is just stay authentic. Present your authentic self to your audience, to your followers, to your fan base, and you're going to get so much more positive feedback. You're going to receive so much more positive interaction just from being yourself, just by putting something out there that people know relates to you, that people know that you've been through, that people know that you've experienced and really put your hands on. They're going to appreciate that way more than you following a trending video or clicking on a, a trending sound just because you want a certain type of level of status. People really appreciate authenticity. And my second tip is just to make sure that you create relatable content. Create content that people can apply to their lives and use it as motivation and inspiration because that's what's going to keep on bringing them back. That's what's going to keep on bringing them back to your post and wanting to see what you are doing and how you are progressing since the last time they were able to relate to your post. So make sure that you are creating videos and if you are following the trend, which is okay, don't get me wrong, following trends is fine as long as it's in pursuit of what you're trying to do, as long as it matchups and aligns with your characters, your values, and your morals, then there's no problem with you go ahead and releasing that content out there, but just make sure that you're doing it and creating things that apply to your every single day life. That's how people are going to respect you more. They're going to promote your brand more. They're going to be more in tune with what you have going on if they know that it's you in real life and not something that you're just putting on social media in hopes to get to a certain place. And again, these are just my tips. This is what I just see works for me because I was following algorithms for so long and learning about them. And sometimes the tips and tricks do work and then sometimes they don't. And that's what really inspired me to make this video because I've realized that sometimes I may post a video with my original sound that gets way more plays than it will when I click on a reel that's trending because people just like the difference in the authenticity versus the same video that they've seen already 20 times today. So continue to promote yourselves and don't be afraid of that. Do not be afraid of losing followers and losing people who are not interested in your content because you don't want those people around. You want to make sure that you are engaging with people who can relate to your content and brands. Those are what is that's what's going to convert into sales of merchandise and services and all the great things that you have to offer. So do not be afraid to be your true authentic self. And that is my message for today's Mental Champion Monday. If you haven't already, make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all next week.